Barack at the Yahweh, Barack at the Yahweh Shai, Barack at the Yahweh, Barack at the Yahweh Shai. Call Hala, Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai, Bashin Rakah Kadash. Okay, Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai, that's the name of the beloved Son of the Heavenly Father. Bashin Rakah Kadash, which means in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom, Wal Barakim, Mahabakari, and peace and blessings to the elect. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 5. These twelve, Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. So Yahweh Shai, he commanded his disciples, all right, to what? Go not into the way of the Gentiles, meaning these other nations, these other heathens, all right, the Moabites, which is so called Chinese. All right, the Edomites, so-called white man, the Hamites, so-called Africans, none of these other nations outside of the nation of Israel, the Lord didn't send his disciples to teach his word unto them. Verse 6, it says, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, because that's whom the Lord came for, came for. All right, the nation of Israel, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Verse 7, and as you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand, because the kingdom of heaven is for the nation of Israel. Okay, the scriptures say that uh, Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. That's the kingdom of heaven, all right, going to the nation of Israel. No other nation. Verse 8, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Okay, and the beautiful thing about this salvation is that it's free. Okay, the salvation, the Lord doesn't require... Um, actual carnal means the lord doesn't require silver gold all right dollars okay the lord is freely we freely receive it and we freely give it out okay it's the book of isaiah chapter 55 verse 1 ho oh, everyone that thirsteth come ye to the water <laughs> okay and we know the waters is this truth. That's why the scriptures say, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So it says, Ho, oh, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And he that have no money, come ye buy. How are you going to buy the, something without money? You see? This truth doesn't cost carnal money. What it costs is your actual time. You have to actually sacrifice your time and your life. And your desires in this world in order to obtain and grow in this faith in this ministry. Okay? We're gonna continue Isaiah, but let's get this real quick. This is Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Heavenly Father, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the most high, which is your reasonable service. Okay, we're supposed to present our bodies as a living sacrifice. Our life is a sacrifice. We have to sacrifice our life, okay, our desires, the things that we were once into, the things that we want, were once striving to be in this world. What? In order to receive this truth, okay, in order to grow in wisdom, faith, knowledge, and understanding, okay, we have to give our time unto the Lord. No longer are we giving our time to the world, all right, but we're now giving our time Unto our power, Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai. Okay? It's Isaiah chapter 55, verse 1. Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And he that have no money, come ye by and eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. See? Without actual dollars. The Lord doesn't require actual dollars. Uh, FRNs Okay to get in the, To be a part of this truth man What the Lord requires is sincerity Alright the scriptures say a broken and contrite heart The Lord will not despise That's what the Lord requires A sincere believer A sincere seeker of the Lord Two wherefore do you spend money For that which is not bread You see The food that we eat I mean we're going to eat It's not going to satisfy our hunger Right but when you eat of this food, all right, which which is this knowledge and this truth, we're fulfilled, okay? The Lord said to the woman at the well, 
If you drink of this water, you shall never thirst again. Okay? That's part, that's talking about this truth, man. That's why we're supposed to invest our time into this truth. Because this is the only thing that's satisfying in this entire earth, in this entire existence. All right? It's so Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. The election have, they're satisfied. We're, we're filled. Okay? We're full. Okay? Because what? We have obtained this wisdom, not to understand this truth. Okay? Because Isaiah chapter 55 and 2. Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat, yea, that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. See, at this, this truth, we can eat as much as we want, man. It's, the scriptures liken it unto a banquet. It said, yea, delight yourself in fatness, man. As much as you desire, that's how much the truth the Lord is going to give you. Okay? Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. This is the book of Sirach. Or Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 6. In the last verse, verse 37. Let thy mind be upon the ordinance of the Lord. And meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thine heart and give thee wisdom at thine own desire. So according to your desire, that's how much wisdom the Lord's going to give you, man. According to your hunger for this truth, that's how much lakum, spiritual lakum, are the bread from heaven that the Lord's going to feed you with. All right, this is Psalms 25. Nope. Psalms 23. This is Psalms 23. And I'll just read from the top. This is a popular psalm in the world. It's psalms 23 and 1. A psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You see? With the Lord being our shepherd, we, we don't want anything. All right? We're completely satisfied. We're content. You see? These are the two-thirds of our people and the, of the heathen, of course, they're not satisfied. They're constantly seeking for more and more and more because they're not fulfilled, okay? Their spirit is not fulfilled, so they're constantly going after the flesh, constantly trying to satisfy the flesh and their lusts, all right? Which is a never-ending cycle. But us that follow and believe in the Lord, Yahweh Shai, we have no want. Let's go into that. Go into that Hebrew word. It says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And the word want is a kha, a sa, and a ra. Chasar, chasar. To lack, be without. Decrease, be lacking, have a need. All right? We don't lack, man. Well, uh, the, we read in Isaiah 55, uh, delight in the fatness. We're good, man. Through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. Verse 2. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. And when you put sheep, because the Lord is a shepherd, that means we're a sheep. If you put sheep in a in a pasture, what? They're, they're in paradise, man. They got all the food they can ever want, and they're chilling. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Still waters represents calmness. Okay, that's why we're going to be in a constant state of calmness, even when turmoil and all hell is breaking loose on the on the earth, because we know that the Lord is our shepherd. We know that the Lord is keeping us safe, guiding us, watching us. Verse verse three, He restored my soul; He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. You see, and He restored our soul because there was one time that we used to walk according to the ways of this world. But the Lord, with his mercy and his loving kindness, he called us up out of this world and restored our soul, man. Gave us health and healing. All right. And he led us into the path of righteousness for his name's sake. We do all this. We teach the word. We go out to the highways and the byways. We do all this for the name of the Lord. All right. For his glory. Verse four. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil 
for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So the Lord is with us. He's our protector, our guider. All right, so there's no need to fear. And we're not going to fear when all hell breaks loose. That's why the scriptures say, then it shall be known who are my chosen. Because those that truly have a relationship with Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai, it's going to be, be shown in that day, you know, which, the, which is that great day of the Lord that is near, that it hasteth greatly. Verse 5, it says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You see? A banquet. The Lord has a banquet, a table full of food. Okay? And we're eating it to our heart's desire in the midst of our enemies, two-thirds of our people that, that don't want us here. Okay? And these other nations, these heathens that don't want to, want to hear our message because we're, we're preaching the downfall of their kingdom, the downfall of their life. All right? We're saying that their life, their lifestyle, their way of living is coming to a, a, a abrupt end. The party is over. All right? So that's why the two-thirds hate us. That's why they're our enemies. That's why the heathens hate us and our enemies. All right? They don't want the Lord to rule. But the Lord is going to rule. All right? But this is five. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. See? We're flowing with this truth, man. The truth is flowing out and pouring out of us, all right? Because the Lord has anointed our head with oil, man. He's given us, given wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and he's placed it in our mind. Verse 6, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever, man. We're going to receive salvation, man. Lord willing, call Allah, Yahweh, Bashi, Now Shai, Bashur, Kakadash. Lord's will, this was an edifying video. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Grand Millstone to rule well. Shalom wa barakim la habakari. Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.